gives me great pleasure to introduce our sister to the dress conference. Laura, when you're ready, Kurt. Before and it made me a bit emotional. It's oh, everyone just there friends, chanting. Um, so I'm a waitress from TGI Fridays, where we. Are, I apologise if some of this is repeating. I've done a couple of other little talks today. Um, we've been involved in a dispute with the company since January, when the company reallocated 40% of waiting staff's card tips to um, the kitchen teams, a move which we strongly believe was made instead of giving kitchen staff an actual pay rise. Um, we were given just two days' notice of this change. Um, my store in Milton Keynes, we were called to a meeting on Saturday the 6th of January, which we actually thought was going to be a pat on the back because we'd beat record sales over Christmas and New Year. Um, but we were told as of Monday we'd be losing 40% of our card tips. So that sucked. Um, we initially tried to contact the company ourselves. We emailed, um, we called, and we had no response. Um, it's now July, uh, and I know that I myself still haven't had a response to the emails that I sent in January. Um, so we unionised. <laughs> um, we joined Unite, and it is the best thing we've ever done. They've given us... <laughs> they've given us a voice where we didn't have a voice before. Um, they've attempted to liaise with the company on our behalf. Um, they've been able to get us media coverage and we've been to Parliament several times to talk about how to close tipping loopholes um, and minimum wage breaches that hospitality companies are making. Um, so it's just been really, really awesome. Um, TGIs have just consistently refused to come to the table and discuss our concerns. Um, they've made no attempt to remedy the situation or reach a resolution. Um, in April, we took the decision to ballot for strike action, and we balloted in four stores, Covent Garden, Haymarket Piccadilly in London, Manchester Trafford, and my store in Milton Keynes, uh, and it was 100% in favour of taking strike action. We began striking on the 8th of May, and we striked for four Fridays in a row, um, and it was... It was really something. Um, people were wearing red and white face paint and making our own signs, and we were chanting. Um, it was just brilliant. Um, since January, we've managed to gain over 250 union members, which is something we're really proud of. <laughs> Especially because with a lot of my colleagues being um, quite, quite young, uh, many of them didn't even know what unions were. There was a few of us who did, because we've got like, trade unionists in the family, um, but most of them, they've never voted. They didn't know what a trade union could do for them. Um, a lot of them were reluctant to join. They were reluctant to pay the fees. Um, managers went on the offence like, straight away, basically um, said that joining Unite was akin to joining a cult, said that our, our, the subs that we'd pay, we'd never get oh, anything What a cult back. it is. <laughs> 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 um, and there's been a lot of discrimination that the earliest members and people who were trying to rally other people in their stores to join faced um, a lot of discrimination we're basically on zero hour contracts so a lot of people had shifts taken away their hours were cut um, or they'd have shifts changed around when the company know they only have certain availability due to childcare or studies um, we even had one girl in Croydon be suspended for getting names on a petition that head office asked for when we said we wanted to put in a collective grievance. So it's been pretty hard. Um, I myself have actually been investigated twice, but thanks to Unite, I think I've been able to defend myself pretty well. They've <laughs> provided training. Um, there are employment rights that I didn't even know I had before this campaign started, <coughs> um, and I really want all young people to understand what their rights are and to be able to defend themselves in the workplace as well. We 
we can't only defend ourselves, but also um, I've been able to defend my colleagues, which is really awesome. So when they've been called in for investigations or disciplinaries, um, or if we've had issues in the workplace, I felt confident enough to raise these now with management. Um, and it really scares them, to be honest, that we go in and we know what we're talking about. And you can see them getting quite angry. Um, and I think the fact that they're trying so many union busting techniques against us at the minute just goes to show how well we're doing and how fast this campaign's spreading because they're obviously running a little bit scared which is brilliant um, although difficult i think we're showing that people in hospitality which is quite an ununionizable like um industry we're not impossible to unionize and we're not impossible to organize um, we do care we're eager to learn um, and with the right encouragement and the public support we've had and the support of the Labour Party and the support of Unite um, and by identifying key leaders in the campaign and nurturing them, we've been able to grow the campaign to what it's become now. Um, we will be taking action again. We're currently ballot, we're about to ballot four more stores. So the next wave of strikes, there'll be eight of us out instead of four. So we're getting bigger and better. Um, we do need your help. Um, if you're able to dig deep for our strike fund and donate, it really helps because obviously if we're out on strike, we don't get paid and a lot of people in my industry live, literally live paycheck to paycheck. Um, turn up to any local picket lines, invite us to speak at your branch meetings. Today is actually a national day of action planned by Unite, being 4th of July Independence Day with TGIs being an American company. <laughs> they celebrate it and they put out cheesy videos and... Um, we're actually holding demonstrations up and down the country, and there's actually one here tonight in Brighton at 6 o'clock. So come along if you can, and we'll make some noise. Um, together we can win. Thank you so much for your support, and Still remember good. to tip cash and solidarity with you all.